Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we are going to roll the fender of the E36 BMW M3 and I'm going to explain why. Follow me. I recently installed these wheels into this BMW M3 and although I love the way they ride, it scratches. When I installed this, I had no idea that it was scratched because I did check the clearance here and I saw that it looks like it was going inside. But as you can see here, all this area, when I go into like big dips, we touch on the fender liner here. You can even see some residue here, right here of the tire. So that's exactly what I'm trying to fix. Like make sure that I roll this fender right here. So I went ahead and go, went to Amazon and purchased this um, device, I'm not really sure what it's called, but you use that to roll the fender. So the idea here is that you remove the wheel, you mount this piece right here into the hub, and then using this device, you kind of tighten it, this side right here, you tighten this, and then this wheel right here is actually what is going to touch the inside of the fender here and roll it. Once it's rolled, it will no longer touch here. As an added precaution, whenever I do the alignment, I'm going to actually have them put a little bit of negative camber in here. Also, when I do my shocks, you know, soon, I'm going to, you know, lower the car, make sure I have a little bit of negative camber. That is going to help in terms of fitment here. That's exactly what I'm going to do right now. So let's go ahead and get this job done. So this is how you mount it. You attach it here and then for the first time you have to put this as about 45 degree angle because you just don't want to hit it straight this way you kind of have to curve the edges here first before you actually after that flatten out but when you look here carefully it seems like the previous owner of my car already kind of rolled the fender because as you can see it comes pretty flat here then it start curving a little bit around here so i'm just going to go ahead and try to add more curvature all of this area here because this is pretty much the area all this above here it's where my tire is touching so that's exactly where i'm going to address it so the idea is that you mount it this way as i said you put this around a 45 degree angle and then you tighten this up so that this wheel here touches here then you start just doing the circular motion this way you have to make sure that you release your handbrake because if you have the hand handbrake on this is not going to turn so that's exactly what I'm going to do right now. I totally forgot to point out that because you don't want your paint here to be chipped, you have to heat up this area first before you actually start moving this wheel around. So I have a heat gun here and I'm going to use that to heat up this area. That's the first step. Then second step is just to adjust this and then start moving back and forth. So you're going to see me do it right now. Right now I am just adjusting this just to make sure that it's good enough to start when I'm just going to pull this way up. But first, let's go ahead and heat up the area. Once the area is pretty warm to hot, you go ahead and start rolling. Mine is always tough for some reason, so I have to apply some force. Yours might be simple. And then this way. And then this way. And then this way. After you do a few times, make sure that you tighten again, just so that it is uh -oh, more secure. It looks like I over tighten here. After you have done a couple of passes at 45 degree, you go ahead and put it at 90 degree the way it is right now, and then heat up this top area. 
and then repeat the same process. Now, I want mine to be a little aggressive. That's why I'm going to actually focus more on this 90 degree angle so that it flattens out pretty well here. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Because this is so hard, I'm not sure why this is tight. Yours should not be tight this much. But for some reason, mine is just so tight. Even though that I released the handbrake, it's still tight. But I'm just, you know, like struggling to do it. This is the finished product. This is how it looks like. So I drove it around the block and it did not touch. So I'm hoping that, you know, it's going to stay that way. Uh, the real test is really when, um, of course, people got to pass by. The real test is really going to be when I take it to work on Monday. On Monday, I'm going to drive this just to see if it scratch again, you know, if it touches and stuff. But so far, so good. Hopefully, uh, I have no more issues with this. If not, then the camber is really what I'm going to do to resolve this because I really want to keep this wheel. I love the look. I love the 18s. And yeah, once I do callovers, I'm going to put more negative camber just to kind of help it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And I have my daughter here complaining already that daddy is taking too long. Say, what baby? Share. Mama want to share. To play, baby. Cheese. Cheese. Say hello. Hello. Ah, tu as fixé la voiture avec papa? Oh, la voiture. Yes, la voiture de qui là-bas? It's black. Yes, it's black. C'est la voiture de qui ici? It's black too. Yeah, c'est pour qui? C'est papa ce car? Um, um, papa car too. Yes, that's papa car too. All right. Tu vas arrêter de filmer papa? Hold on. Tu filmes papa? Hmm. Hmm? Say bye-bye. See you next time. See you next time. All right.